let's start off with some significant figures. So, sig figs, uh, well, better known as sig figs, are essentially the number of digits believed to be correct by the person that's reviewing the problem or situation. So, they often uh, can vary per, per problem and have a core set of rules. Um, you can see a nice little example of some here to the right, but we're going to delve more into that in about a slide or two. Yeah, so significant figures essentially come with four core sets of rules. Um, they might have some sub rules if you want to rule it that way, but essentially it comes down to four core things. So when you're dealing with exact numbers, um, these numbers have an infinite number of sig figs, uh, such as uh, the exact decimal number of three, you know, the exact number three, you can put a point zero, 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 zero at the end. It will have an infinite number of significant figures. Um, this is also good to keep in mind when doing unit conversions, as in when you are converting between units um, and sort of engineering based problems, uh, those numbers are going to be exact as well. Just keeping that in mind. Uh, the second rule is uh, when it comes to zeros. So zeros in numbers uh, come into play in different ways. For instance, a leading zero is never important. Um, so say if you were to have uh, a zero in, for, in front of a 4,000, you know, you could do that, but that zero doesn't count. You know, it's not important. It's the same thing with if you were to do a... Um, you know, in embedded zeros going into zeros that are actually within the number itself. If you were to have a um, 0 0.403, you know, that zero in the middle is important, but that leading zero is not because it's before the decimal point. However, that embedded zero is significant. Um, and the last kind of thing about zeros, is that trailing zeros are only significant if that decimal point is specified. Um, so uh, zeros at the end of numbers, if you were to talk about the number 4,000, 4,000, uh, you know, uh, those zeros really don't count as much as if you were to do a 0 0.400, um, you know, those, those decimal points actually do matter. Um, then going into uh, adding and subtracting with significant numbers. Uh, so you essentially retain the same amount of sig figs as the number with the last digits after the decimal. Um, we'll see an example of that again in a little bit. Um, and then coming to multiplying and dividing, uh, you will retain the same amount of fig sig figs as the number with the least amount of digits. And again, I get this is a lot of information. Um, we'll kind of delve into it in, a, in an example in this next slide. All right, so now here we're looking at some examples of significant figures. So I'm going to kind of bring this up to you guys, um, or you guys and gals, if anyone wants to help chime in along with this slide. So starting off, we have the, the number three, or, you know, 3.0 or 3.00. You know, if anyone wants to tell me how many sig figs uh, this number has. Would it be one and then two and then three? for the trailing zeros after the decimal? So the way, so yeah, technically yes. Um, but the way I was trying to show this problem is that it's an exact number. There really was no way to, you know, put that in this line, but um, three would be an exact number. So in this case, if you would like to reveal, it would be an infinite number of sig figs. Um, but yes, you are on track with that. Uh, you are definitely correct. Um, so now we're going Thank to the next one. Yeah, no problem. Uh, so we have 0 0.0045, but anyone like to tell me how many sig figs this has? Uh, two. There you go. Boom, nice job. Two is correct. All right, let's go to this next number. 6. There you go. You guys are on a roll. All right, let's go to the next number. Don't overthink it. One. There you go. <laughs> One is correct. But now going on to the next example. Four? Yeah, four. There you go. It's because we have that decimal point at the end. So that means that, that zero, those zeros after the four are going to be significant because uh, that decimal point kind of specifies that. Um, now we have a few, uh, you know, examples with some equations. Uh, so take a few seconds to do this by yourselves. Not meant to be crazy hard. Um, numerical calculations, just solve that out, you know, starting out with the addition um, equation and tell me what your answer is uh, in the correct amount of sig figs. Is it 8.6? It is indeed 8.6. Nice job. That is because uh, that 4.2, uh, there are, you know, you have to worry about those numbers that come after the decimal. So considering that uh, the 4.2 has one sig fig, whereas the 4.43 has two, uh, we favor that, uh, that one sig fig at the end. 
Um, all right, so now we'll go on to the subtraction. Five point two one. There you go. Nice three sig figs again because of that after that decimal point. Nice job. All right. So now we'll go on to some multiplication. Would it be ninety nine? It would indeed be ninety nine. Right, because uh, two point three has two sig figs. Uh, whereas 43.2 has three, and in multiplication, we favor uh, that least number. And then coming on to the last one, division, you guys almost got it. Would it be 5.77 because of the three six Yeah, it would be 5.77. Nice. All right. Good job, people.